Uh, Tim Gross. Mm. Hello everybody, you okay? Welcome to Tooting Back. I come here for the Vets AC 5000 Track Championships. I've even got some new dragonflies, nice day glow yellow pair. So I've actually come on the train today. I looked at the parking options and there's a car park behind me there, which is actually Choco, so I think I'm glad I didn't do it. I'm going to crack on and get my number and see how we feel. I was feeling quite good the other day, but um, I'm sure when it actually comes to race day of late, I'll be feeling a bit jaded. But maybe it's just sort of the long summer days. It's quite nice again. A bit windy, but yeah, we'll see how it's on the track. It's a brand new surface track, apparently. I last raced here in 2003. And a chap called Martin Rooney just beat me in an 800. Now, answers on a postcard if you've heard of Martin Rooney. He's had a full international career at 400 meters. He's won various medals, even up to the Olympics, and he's now retired. So <laughs> I was already well past it when he was starting, and he's already given up. That just shows uh, how long we keep going, some of us facts. Anyway, so I thought we'd do a little voiceover proceedings. I was in the race number three, effectively the B race. Most of the runners were sort of 18 minute runners here. So here we are, so there was 12 of us all together. So it was a very warm evening after the first sort of lap. My throat was dry and they even had a bit of a water table. So I spent most of the race actually sat on Nikki Sturbsaker's shoulder, who was the leading lady. And we were going around sort of trying to, I was trying to go around sort of trying to break run about 18.30 and for the, about the first eight laps I think I was actually doing quite well if you see here that I'm actually constantly just sat on her shoulder she must have thought oh, will you ever come past me but she was going pretty fast and I really didn't think I could actually go any faster the trouble with 5k is that I always feel like I'm starting too quickly at the moment the same with the road races in Battersea Park a few weeks ago and so you can see my laps here they're already starting to drift off after only a mile the first mile there was about 5.56 I think and I was here we go through five laps still hanging on to her but now you see unfortunately the leading runners have got away and there's no one sort of like behind so we did actually catch one guy there just earlier on from Hearn Hill then he soon dropped back so you can see that I'm just starting to drift off and now when the sort of like it goes it goes and now there's a big gap and my laps are now going quite slowly 94 and in fact now she's got so far ahead that I've even have to sort of cut away that's 95 now you can sort of markedly see I'm sort of struggling a bit and that was my slowest lap 96 but I did have a bit of a mini revival towards the end <laughs> These are just the leading runners coming through. It was won by Jonathan Moore in just a shade over 18 minutes. So I still think I can get back there, but maybe not on a day where it was just really hot and had a dry throat. So it was a good bit of battle there between Ben Gilmore and Nikki at the end there. I think Ben just held her off. And there's me coming in. I think I'm just about to start my sort of final effort. I thought I was be able to get under 19 minutes, but unfortunately the clock said 19.0055. On the plus side, I came third in the M55 category for Vets AC runners, and that was me getting the medal at the start. And another plus point, I only ran faster once last year. So yeah, take that. Okay, race done. That was quite a tough one. I we're on a lap, and then my throat was dry already. And so I tried to take on water, but put them over my head. I tried to stay with Nikki Sturzaker. I'm not sure the exact pronouncing of the name of I'll get that right there for as long as I could. So yeah, stung on to about six or seven laps and then just the drawstring um, collapsed. I saw in the last race, I think she was about 15, 20 seconds ahead of me. So I thought it was gonna come at any moment, but I think they were both suffering a bit. And when I overtook her for 35 from Hearn Hill as well, so that was quite good, it wasn't last. But yeah, just just missed 19 minutes, which is a bit annoying because the first mile was about 5.55, 56. And I think I kept it bang on 12 minutes for 3,200 so it's not quite uh, sub six paces it for the mile for the extra 18 meters but then yeah the last uh, four laps I was really struggling I think they went out to about uh, 94 to 95 just trying to keep it going I put a bit of a sprint in see if I get under 19 minutes on the last 200 just missed it I think but anyway not bad innings work slightly slower than I was in my fastest track race last year so maybe the track is harder but I think tonight conditions were tough because as I said, I felt sort of lethargic from the hot weather. The wind had calmed down a bit, but just really sort of tough conditions. So we've got the A race going on at the moment. These are the fastest guys who are vets. Guys in leads are 35, but we've got a few people in my age group there. In fact, even a 60. Mark Kirsten's used to be a very, very good runner. And then we've got the Guildford Trio, uh, Terry Booth, David Williams, and Mark Tennyson. Looks like he's about to catch up the guy here in grey. He's uh, about 40 by the looks of it. Come on, guys! 
yeah, 255, so they're my age group. And uh, 60, Terry hasn't been going that well of late, but he's uh, certainly getting back to form. So I think it's a bit tough for those guys to be in the back of the A race rather than the front of my race, but at least it gave me a few <laughs> less to, to, not to beat me. Anyway, yeah, so uh, sometimes you just to get out and do the races. Conditions don't always prevail. I thought I was fitter than I was, actually. I think just the... Uh, the heat got me tonight. You would have thought I'd been heat acclimatised, but trying to run 5k, an actual 5k, rather than 5k reps in the heat, it's a different cat of fish. And maybe there's a thing there for training that just doing short reps doesn't necessarily prepare you for running what turned out to be 19 minutes flat out. But um, yeah, I thought I was trying as hard as I could, but that's all you can do, really, isn't it? Just uh, the old legs just not, aren't going as fast as they were used to. Having said that, Ben Pavia, although he's a bit younger than me, I used to be able to uh, occasionally beat him with 15 when we were running around four minutes, so he's going a lot better, although he's not in the lead of this one, have to we say. And we've got uh, Joseph Gonzalez, who's still at 50, I think he's coming out at 53, and he did he had a 16, 40 odd part run today, so we're just going to see what he does today. I think he might struggle in these conditions, but it looks to be going pretty well actually. And Louis Taub, who used to work with, like he's just been overtaken, so yeah, plenty of good runners here tonight, which is all the thing with these things because. Uh, I mean, uh, they'll say well, the everyday runners, um, well, I run every day. I never quite think I associate it with being an everyday runner, according to one famous YouTuber. I uh, don't think he ever really goes to a track and races. But um, yeah, this is kind of the best competition you can get in your age. And uh, sometimes you do feel a bit humbled, actually. You think you're better than you are. So, and then when you come to this and you're not, but at least you didn't get lapped. So that was one thing. <laughs> so I hope you found this interesting. Like and subscribe on that. And see you on the next one then. Bye. Uh, man, strawberry. Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, 1644. 1644, yeah. yeah. So, was that slightly slower than the part run? Yeah. Slightly slower. Yeah. So, but it was tough tonight, though, I thought. Yeah, it was a bit It was a bit tough. It was a bit, a bit breezy, but. Nah, and also, it was quite humid, wasn't it? Yeah, my throat was just really dry, I think. Yeah. 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 I think so. Yeah. So I think I need to. Um, running on the track is quite. Di I don't feel that the spikes are slow, but I think you need to be used to them, don't you? Because it. And I, I was, you know, if you're not used to running, I started running the Adios, but it's not quite as low as the track, and you feel a bit slappy when you get you get yeah. tired, don't you? So, I saw some of the fast guys tonight. They're really bouncing off the track, and. Uh, you know, when I was younger, perhaps I looked the same, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not running 19 I think, minutes. I think your winner did 15.35. Yeah, I mean, he must have been just 35. Yeah, he looked, he looked like he, looked, he was just yeah. about mastered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And ben Pavey, I think, I don't know what he ran, but... He oh, yeah, because Ben well. Pavey, he must have been quite young when I when I was still at the end of my 8.15 time and we were running together, but he ran 15.56 tonight. And... 15.56? Yeah, when I was running... That was a good day for me 20 years ago, you know, so and I, crazy. I, I so heard him going. saying it was his first run on the track for this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he well, didn't. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't, I mean, he was a bit isolated as well, so it wasn't the ideal of uh, conditions. Oh, no. You got past my uh, workmate, uh, Louis, uh, the guy over there in the red. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, he went off really quick. Yeah, he said he went off a bit quick. But, he went uh, off really quick, and, yeah. uh, and then, uh, yeah, I overtook him, because he, he obviously just fell off the pace. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. You were probably just overestimating it. Oh, it's quite a good, I think, to get near your time on Saturday, two races. I mean, it's quite tough to run two races back to back, isn't it? You know, even, yeah, well, even with the four few days, days apart, yeah. whatever it was. Yeah, it was. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes you just feel a bit um, going through the motions again, don't you? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, what, did you, what was your time in the end, Tim? Well, annoyingly, 1900.55. So, it would, have, it would have sounded better with an 1859, <laughs> wouldn't it? I hate when that happens. And I knew I had about, I had about an eight, I knew it was 200 to go, I had about eight. You know, 40 42 to, to beat, and I thought I was picked up the pace, but not quite enough. But, uh, yeah, next one. Annoyingly, the lady I was with, she did 1837s. It just shows you what happens when you just, yeah. you know, the legs went in there. Yeah, well, I was yeah. doing like sub, sub 90s for a while, and then that, the last few sure. were like 95 or something. Well, I mean, you doing this race is going to help. I mean, you've been doing some good speed sessions, you have three quality yeah, sessions. Yeah, I think I just need to keep working at it. I mean, yeah, the good yeah. thing about a five case, you can have another go quite quickly, can't exactly. you? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so I've done three out. now. They've been slow in a row, but I think I was quite fit coming from the marathon, and then I got the hamstring injury, and then yeah. tonight I think I just I'm making excuses, but um, okay. just didn't feel quite on it. It just, it just suddenly yeah. it'll suddenly come. Matt will have you doing good sessions. Yeah. He's already seemingly having to do. Well, he had me doing three sessions last week, and I felt really good on Saturday night. And then I found these days. I don't know about you, but if you do a good session, then. It, you can feel like good doing it and then you feel like worse afterwards you know for a couple of days and then oh yeah uh, it's, funny, it's funny how the easy run on the day after a session is harder than the session i've had monday <laughs> off i went to watch the races on monday i, I didn't really feel like running and then last night i thought should i have another rest day i thought well, i can't have two rest days but perhaps i should have done but 
I, so, know, uh, I, I can't have a rest day ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather do a half hour. I know, that's the thing. I normally I normally feel like that, but I thought I was so tired on Monday, I thought I'd just have the day off. But I just hope my coach isn't listening to this. Yeah. You, know, what? you mean you didn't have a rest day when I told you to? <laughs> well, I think sometimes okay. if you're tired, having a rest day doesn't make a lot of difference. But you, you, yeah. <laughs> I always find I'm lethargic and sluggish on the day after my yeah. rest day anyway. So. I think because I, I was working in the day, like sitting in my cabin, yeah. it's quite hot, isn't it? And then. Yeah, I've always thought oh, I can't be bothered to go and race now. I thought I just want to go for a little easy run. as well, you're stiff and everything. Yeah. Don't you? That's why I keep getting up yeah, yeah. Yeah. regularly during the day. Yeah. 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 Nice, uh, see you soon, guys. Yeah. See you Sunday. Hopefully. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 I remember there was a time we used to have to keep up with you when we. Yeah. I think you just started, didn't you? When, uh, well, I haven't 15. been that long. No. Well, I'm, I'm, I mean. I think I was already past it when you started. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah. seem to be. Seems to maintain. Well, I'm not. You know. What is my decline over 15? It's probably. You know, yeah. That much more. Yeah. Well, this is the 15. Though. For my rate, Phil says he does the eights and 15s these days because they're over quicker. But uh, yeah. And it's just, yeah, it yeah. seems to be okay over 5k. There's less of a decline. Yeah. And <coughs> got into quite decent shape over the winter. But I think I've gone a bit. Um, it's really hard to kind of, you know, just keep going all the time. Sessions yeah. week in week out when yeah. you get older. I think the thing with 5k is that you can do them more often like when I did the marathon you build up for one big race so the 5k you, you get to your fitness level quite soon don't you and it's yeah. quite fine margins race to race yeah and that just you know but yeah. you can also go stale pretty quickly if yeah you don't. It's, the, it's all about the recovery it's yeah all about rest and recovery I th yeah I think these days the recovery takes longer but then if I recover longer then I feel like I'm detraining so I know I know but yeah. it, you've got it in the bank I just yeah. I, you know, yeah. but it's you know I mean back in the day I used to overtrain when I was with Horwell. Yeah. Now I'm probably I don't obviously I don't train as hard, but I still have still have difficulty backing off. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, the th I was with Frank the year I did my PB, but oh, it was yeah, right at the end, and then you'd, you'd almost like give it up training, then a bit of rest, and get the get the races out, but whether you survive for the whole year. Yeah. Oh dear, old Frank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was bad. Yeah, yeah, he was bad. I wouldn't have done it differently for the world. I mean, you know, it was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, you, get, you know, you just get such a. Good I think game. looking back at it, getting those sort of eights and fifteens in when we were younger, you know, because people these days don't do that, do they? Well, they they go straight from part run to marathon or yeah, something. So they you know? never get. They never, never experience. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot to be said for speed. Yeah. Absolutely. I look in power of ten. I see people who are quite good runners, and then they've never even raced on the track, let no, alone, yeah, no. you know, yeah, not even five k or something. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. It is different though, because you. Um, I remember my two 5k road races, I think because the weather was quite oppressive today, I did a, a little laugh and my throat was dry already and, uh, you know, I think it uh, doesn't help, does it? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, we're, still yeah going, it? <laughs> we're still going, yeah, that's the main thing, yeah. <laughs> Not going yeah. to stop either, are you? <laughs> yeah, so what, how old are you now? 50. 50, 50 yeah. Which is what gave me a new lease of life, so. Yeah. Quite strong cause well, I think I was actually doing better as a vet when I was 45, I think. Um, the sound of the competition now has just got so that's much insane, better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm running better as a 50 than I did at 45 and possibly yeah. 40 but as I turned 40 I had one summer and then because my kids came along I just stopped doing sessions oh, okay so yeah I kind of picked it up again around 45. I think you do yeah I find you do need to get the speed up but I find nowadays I need to I need to rein it in a bit because I just yeah. can't do the sessions like I used to yeah and that's the other thing um, is do, do, you know, I do I go to road, Reading Road Runners and do a session on Wednesday night but yeah you know more often than not I'm doing the whole session and I should probably just be doing like yeah. yeah three quarters of it or something well yeah you always sometimes think if you're ever trained don't you but um, yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah if you don't train enough it's uh, well, exactly. it's usual yeah. if, I don't do enough, if i don't do enough mileage these days i know it in my legs but i can keep up but i think it's funny because i think nowadays i'm actually pretty better than the marathon because i actually train specifically for one race and i'm yeah. uh, in like shorter because i can i quite like going out for a three-hour run in the winter you know because it does not it's not actually the one thing it's not actually, it doesn't, it's just mentally hard, but it doesn't actually physically hurt you yeah. that much. It's a bit stiff in the legs afterwards, but... Yeah, but I think one thing with, you know, with, with the, you know, marathon type stuff as you get older, you can probably do what you might once have done in one week over two or three weeks. Yeah, and yeah. Just, as long as you get the key sessions in... And marathon pace doesn't sound so daughty when it's like 6.50 compared to 5.50, or yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what I'm doing on the track of the yeah. Oh, good to see you, mate. Yeah, Hold on. You, Cheers. You. This is Louis Tab. We, used to, we both work for CGI. We both used to work in Leatherhead, but... Uh, you're now working in London, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I'm right, still yeah. working in my garden shed, but uh, maybe maybe not forever. So, well done. So, what, what time Thanks. do you think you did? Uh, 1711, I think. 1711. Jesus, yeah. you have lapped me, I think. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was tough yeah. to like, wasn't it? In the, in the it heat, I tough. think. Yeah. yeah, I paid the price for going on yeah. to fast as well. Yeah. Well, you kind of feel like you have to sort of stick with people in a track race, don't you? Yeah, but, uh, you do. Yeah. yeah. 
as well. Yeah, I was, I was desperately trying to hang on to the leading lady as long as I could, and then drawstring just when the when the sort of the drawstring just breaks, and then, oh, yeah, it's a, it's a long way to go. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, oh well, I'm good to see you. Good see you in the next one. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. See you next one. Come on, sir. Let's have a nice stat on our power yeah, ten. Joseph, good running. Go on, Louis, hang in there. Come on, Mark, well done. Come on, guys, working well together. First lady, first VAC member, Nikki Sturzaka. Liz, I was trying to hang on to his dear life. <laughs> Second, Joseph Gonzalez Armas. And third, Jonathan Moore. <laughs> Second, Terry Booth. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Third, Tim Gross. Mm. Really... And in the open race, Third was Jonathan Ratcliffe, <coughs> M60. First, Mark Kersons. 